In this video I'm gonna make a Killjoy cosplay, but let's first find out what I need. A jacket, attachments for the jacket, a small backpack, gloves, a green beanie, a yellow belt with a bag attached to it, the slack parts with the straps, and at last the nade. But Killjoy is a woman. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, no. The title is correct though, I am a chat main. But can you blame me for wanting to make a character with a great color palette and these additional details like the big zipper or this cute little backpack over a blue outfit? So here's some of the material that I used. I started out by making patterns and cutting them out of fabric. And for the purple details I sew these three materials together and then just six stack stitched them on. I also bought way too much of this volume material, I only needed a third of what I actually bought. I finished cutting out all shapes out of every material. The parts that are not connected with each other are sewed layered like this for a seamless stitch after turning the yellow over. But for the other parts like the sleeves I simply sew them together. For the back piece I wanted to sew on the straps for the buckles after sewing on the volume material on the inside. Well, guess who forgot to do that and had to do that at the end. I was done with all the preparations and could start sewing all parts together. Yeah, but who had to glue it on? How can you be that clueless? I, m me, I had to do it. Oh. But because they are so thick, I had so much trouble putting them together that I even had to pause and think about my life choices for 30 minutes to be able to continue trying again. Only to find out that this is what it looks like inside out. So after another 30 minutes, I finally fixed it. I don't even want to know how long that took me. I only know that I worked in the jacket that day for 11 hours, but realistically only 9 minus self doubt. But the joy of finishing the base of the jacket made me forget my misery. At this point I should probably mention, which is hopefully clear, that this is not a tutorial. I got a sewing machine a week ago and I only made two t-shirts and a pair of shorts. So I wanted something more challenging, so I immediately started with this project. But the jacket is not done yet, so I probably should get back to work. Luckily I made a test piece for this, but it still went wrong. I just glued it on, no one will ever notice, right? And I also sewed on the collar, totally symmetrically. But now something that worked out well, well kind of. I prepared some squares and sewed them together, turning it inside out for the stuffing and then I closed it. So it was time for the X shape. I drew it on the back side and then sew along the lines. I also finished the fabric part for the zipper by adding the blue detail. And the actual zipper is made out of foam. I cut out 10 zipper tip. Did someone say 10s? I hacking love 10s. <laughs> I glued the slider together and then painted the zipper blue and the slider silver. And that's how I will glue it together. But first I'm going to attach the axis. I didn't film the fastener part, but basically I just searched on Amazon for tactical belt and this one showed up. And then I covered the belt strap with purple fabric. But when I sew on the axis, I watched a movie and I wasn't really paying attention, so I almost messed up the X shape. Then I attached the zipper to the fabric part, this piece to the slider and finally the slider to the zipper. My veteran career is mainly gold, but I peaked at plat 1 and I mainly play chat. But sometimes, only sometimes, I play Killjoy and it's really fun to play post plant with her. I have futile on spike. No need to peek. Not on. Not on. Nice. Ah! <laughs> but mostly I play in low gold with my friends and carry them on my backpack. See what I did there? Transition to making a backpack? No? Yeah, but now you just ruined the flow of the video. You get that, but earlier you are... Here's the backpack. This is the size that I want it to be. And then I cut out the patterns and on a small piece I already attached the zipper. Then I added all pieces one by one and done. The inside is filled with stuffing so it doesn't look like a plastic bag. To attach it to the jacket I used velcro on the bottom and on the top these buckles with the glued on counterparts. I already had some gloves from the last cosplay. 
I cut them into the right shape and made some details. Painted them and glued them on. I bought this beanie and I glued red painted cardboard onto green fabric wrapped cardboard and attached it with safety pins. Then I started to make the shape for the nade out of foam clay and while that dries I made the belt back. The shapes are already done so I sew on a grey part. Then the long piece for the depth and like this I also put on the back piece. I wrapped the belt with yellow fabric and put on snaps. This is only my third cosplay, but I still try to make it with as much detail as currently possible for me. Hence the nail polish. Now she's in her emo face, I don't know. But when it comes to the hair, I think that's fine. So I don't need to add additional strands. But what I do need is to finish the leg part. So I sew on some details for the straps and then sketch the shape for the leg. Here it is already cut out and base coated. And that's how it will come together. This is the connection between bag and leg. But now back to the nade. I marked the details and then started dremeling it. But I didn't really like working with a dremel, especially not this type of material. So I destroyed it. After finishing all layers of paint, I glued everything together. And also put on all details, which was the final touch to the leg piece. The only thing that I needed to do now was the nade, but after attempt 1 and 2 were failures, I searched for new material and I found the perfect stuff. An acrylic glass tube and a perfectly fitting styrofoam ball. So I coated it with foam and glued on some details. After that I painted it orange and yellow and made the final parts. And this was the last part that I glued on. Another video, another cosplay. This time it took me 9 days and 78 hours of work. But the expense were the same as the Elden Ring armor. The material cost around $200. Dollar a euro. It's kind of weird to not need to calculate anymore. But thanks to that my Twitch sub costs one dollar less. So thank you for watching. If you liked this video and this type of content, please leave a like and consider subscribing. Thank you and have a great rest of the day.